Storm warning. Yeah, it, it sounds like it's a scary chapter today. But it's not. Uh, really, this is about uh, another job you can do. It's kind of a cool job, being a meteorologist. Now, they kind of get to be TV stars, but they're scientists, so it's kind of a cool gig that way, right? And uh, you get to be on TV and look good, but you also get to be a scientist. So it's a pretty cool gig. Um, we've had a couple of meteorologists from TV stations uh, come and visit the schools. Uh, I don't think uh, Michelle Michaels was one of them, but uh, so this might be a job you might consider if you're very, you know, you kind of want to act or just, you know, be in front of a camera, but you also like science. This might be your gig. All right, let's try it out. Michelle Michaels was a formerly a weather forecaster at 7 News in Boston. When TV viewers tuned in, they saw the result of a long day of data collection and weather analysis. The job of the meteorologist. Forecasters like Michelle rely on, sorry, rely on information collected at thousands of points around the world. These eyes and ears that scout the weather include radar, satellites, surface sites, and weather balloons. Michelle Michaels, meteorologist, analyzes computer models to prepare for her evening broadcast. Collecting the data. So if you're good at math, this might be good for you. Weather satellites, 22,000 miles up, take photographs of clouds to show the movement of weather systems. Through a network of NEXRAD, Next Generation Radar, Stations, radar images display the motion intensity of rain or snow. Weather balloons take measurements of the atmosphere from ground level to thousands of feet above the earth. Surface observing sites report the current weather conditions every hour of every day of every year. Really, that's just a fancy way of saying all the time, isn't it? The National Weather Service supercomputer then processes this information, making 16 billion calculations per second. The resulting charts and weather images are made available to meteorologists around the United States to help them create their forecasts. So even though they have all the same data, you'll hear different forecasts from time to time. These are real scientists uh, figuring out stuff. Analyzing the weather. Reviewing conditions. To begin her forecast, Michelle checks the current conditions, temperatures, winds, and weather patterns for the city of Boston, its surrounding communities, and much of New England. Observing radar images. Enhanced Doppler radar provides Michelle with the images of thunderstorms moving toward Boston from the west. Next generation radar can detect dangerous shifts in wind condition that may result in tornadoes. Hearing from weather watches. Local volunteers of all ages phone in detailed weather reports from their communities. These observations are often invaluable in helping Michelle put together the pieces of the forecasting puzzle. Analyzing computer models. By analyzing weather charts and maps created by the National Weather Service from computer models, Michelle develops a four to five day forecast for Greater Boston and New England. She relies on her education, education, her, and experience to accurately predict how the atmosphere will change. Meteorologists analyze the many charts and images that the National Weather Service provides that is only part of the studying and interpreting they have to do before they can create a forecast. The data gathered from the radar and satellites requires the explaining abilities of the meteorologist so that it makes sense to the rest of us. Meteorologist, are you interested in following the weather professionally? You'll need a four-year college degree in meteorology or atmospheric science, 
It also helps if you enjoy watching clouds and chasing storms from safe distance. The challenge of problem solving, communicating your knowledge with others. Meanwhile, contact your local television station about becoming a volunteer weather observer. All right, so, you know, we used to have these um, weather meteorologists come in to school and uh, one came in, and she was very nice, and, you know, she was obviously TV-ready. And But what's funny is uh, she was really explaining how she loved to chase storms. She was chasing tornadoes, uh, living out of the back of the van for a summer, and having to rem remembering it fondly. So uh, if you really love the weather and, and are passionate about it, it can be a good job for you. If you study. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.